All right, guys, so today I'm going to be making a video talking about what's on my iPhone. So I've had this phone for over a month now. It's close to two months and I've had this phone for a while and it's been pretty decent. I have did a lot of settings with the action button that improved my daily tasks and I have a lot of different apps that I use with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about the apps that I have downloaded and look at the home screen and my home screen layout. So as you can see, we do have the weather widget up on the top and I do use this every day before I go out. We do have the Tesla widget as well, so I can open the front trunk. Uh, the back trunk, the unlock the car, set precondition, and open the charge port. So we have the iMessage app downloaded as well as default. We do have the FaceTime app as well on the home screen. And we do have a battery widget right there next to those apps. So I have the battery widget for the watch and a battery widget for the phone. So if we go into socials, you can see that we have the YouTube app that's right there that I use a lot and the Instagram app. So on Instagram, I usually just scroll and watch a few videos and pictures. But these days with Instagram, it looks like there's a little more videos than pictures, which is kind of ironic. Uh, but yeah, I use Instagram basically like TikTok these days. I don't really go in there and don't really post on it, but I scroll for a few minutes and I'm done. So we do have Discord that I do use to chat with my friends on Discord, but I use X a lot because X have very, very good communities. If you have a YouTuber that has a community on X or if you have the Apple community that you're into, it's very, very good to talk tech online. So I use that a lot. Um, yeah, just scroll, watch some videos, read some posts. And yeah, that's pretty much all I do on X. And then from there, we have Reddit. So Reddit is there and I use it not as much as I did before, but I do use it. So TikTok is probably one of the apps that I use as much as YouTube and Instagram. Um, I do post on TikTok, so the link is in the description if you want to follow my page. But I do scroll on TikTok for leisure, but sometimes I do post on there. And I have the YouTube Studio app so I can see how my videos are doing. So right next to that, we have the picture app. And under that, we have the uh, calendar and podcast app. And then we have the store app. So this is where we have the app store, the Apple store, Amazon, PayPal, and Best Buy. Lately, I've been using Best Buy pretty much a lot because there's a lot of deals and I don't want to miss out on any of them. And it looks like there's a lot of deals even before Black Friday. So I might just make a video on what you should buy on Best Buy's Black Friday. But who knows? Let's see what they actually offer later down the line. So we do have the reminders app settings and we have the finance folder. So the finance folder is where I have all my banking apps. Um, I do use Wealth Simple for my investments and I do use the stock apps to check on my investments sometimes. Uh, I do, and you can technically check it with Wealth Simple, but sometimes the Apple uh, stock app just give you a news article on different stocks and different situations. So we do also have the Tesla app. I don't use it as much since we have the actual Tesla widget, but it's still there to have more access to settings. All right, so moving on to the next page, we do have the podcast widget that I use to play and pause my podcast. But also I do have my stock widget that I use to check on stocks and read articles. And then from there, we do have the reminders widget that I use almost every single day. I love the reminders app. It's perfect for me. It's amazing. But if we look here under the widgets, we do have these um, folder for the Apple Watch and fitness apps. So we can have our fitness and our Apple Watch settings right there. And then from there, right next to that, we have all our Google apps. So Google Maps, Gmail, YouTube, Google Chrome, etc. All of the Google apps that I use are in there. We do have the books app that I use. Uh, either it's for reading books or audiobooks. I do have all of them saved here on the books app. I am using other apps and reading books physically, so not all of my books are in this app, uh, but uh, I do use it quite often. I do have the files folder here, my notes app, and the EV section. So the EV app is just for a different bunch of EV route planning, um, controls for my car, um, different charges around. Uh, so it's very good for all those EV things. And we do have the home app that I use to turn on and off my lights, as you can see right here. And I can turn off the TV, turn it on, etc. It's a very, very cool app. I like it a lot. There's different moves that you can set 
if you already preset settings on your uh, home app settings, but very, very cool app that Apple came out with a long time ago. We do also have the audiobook app that I use quite often. All right, so moving on to the final page, we have the screen time widget. So the screen time widget allows me to look at the apps that I'm using mostly throughout the day and allows me to just maybe use those apps less if they are a distraction to whatever I need to do. I do have the DuckDuckGo app right there so I can have an alternative browser, have ExpressVPN, and also have authentication apps and some random apps in that folder. I do have business apps, so I need to add more apps to this folder, but these are just apps that I use for my personal business. Have the payment parking app so I can pay for parking. And I also have the Find My app. And Omnivox is an app that I use specifically for school. So it's a school app so I can get my assignments and everything done on time. And I have the ChatGPT app. And that is ironic that both apps are next to each other. But yeah, I have those apps there. So that is the last page. And I don't really use the last page as often as the others, but there you go. All right, so before we end the video here, I want to talk about little things that I did with the action button and focus modes that with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So first things first, if we use the action button here, we can see the different actions that I set. So we have preconditioning for the car. We can open the front trunk, unlock and lock the car, open the uh, trunk and close it, and also turn off and on the lights. So this is the, these are the things that I use on a daily basis. So I Having the action button to do all these things is amazing, but it goes further than that. When you change your focus, the action button settings changes as well. So this is something that I did with the Shortcuts app. I might make another video showing how I did this or link the video that showed me how to do it. But by changing the sleep focus, I can turn off and on the lights. I can have the clock app open and I can also go to the home app so I can change different moods in the lights. If I go to the fitness focus, the action button settings changes as well. So if I change, you can see that the home screen changes as well. So there's a whole new home screen, wallpaper, etc. But if you use the action button, you have the fitness app, the music app, and also the podcast app. So yeah, the action button can change depending on the focus and it makes it even better. So I'm glad that I have this setting here. I will link the video that taught me how to do this, but yeah, we can see with the school focus as well, changes the apps, changes the wallpaper, changes a lot of things, and also changes the action button settings. So if I click on the action button, you'll see that it shows the option to open the Omnivox app for school, the Safari app and calculator. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The action button has changed the game for me. A lot of things that I couldn't do with my previous phones, I can do now, especially with focuses and shortcuts. So yeah, that was pretty much it for what's on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let me know what apps that you guys use that change the game for you guys and what settings that you guys put for your action button on your iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max. But yeah, see you guys on the next video. Peace.